had gone to catch a shuttle. This was February 7th, 2011. I was a bit early. I'd gotten the time wrong. Before I arrived, I'd gotten some coffee and a packet of cookies. There was this guy that came and sat down next to me. Perfectly ordinary looking guy. It didn't look like he was going to do anything weird. That's when Sully leaned across, picked up the packet of cookies, tore it open, took one out, and ate it. There is nothing in our background, upbringing, or education that teaches you how to deal with someone in broad daylight that just had stolen your cookies. You know if this would have happened in South Central Los Angeles, there would have been gunfire, helicopters coming in, CNN, you know. But in the end, I did what any red-blooded Englishman would do. I ignored it. And I took a cookie for myself and ignored the fact that the packet was already mysteriously opened. I thought that settled him. But it hadn't, because a moment or two later, he did it again. He had another cookie. Not having mentioned it the first time, it was somehow even harder to raise the subject the second time. And, excuse me, I couldn't help to notice. I mean, it doesn't really work like that. We went through the whole packet like this. I mean, when I say the whole packet, I mean there was only eight cookies. But it felt like a lifetime. He took one, I took one, he took one, I took one. But finally, when we got to the end, he stood up and walked away. Well, we exchanged meaningful looks, then he walked away. And I breathed a sigh of relief and sat back. A moment or two later, I was headed to the shuttle, so I picked up my bag, and underneath were my pack of cookies. The thing I particularly like about this story is the sensation that somewhere out there is a perfectly ordinary guy with the same exact story, only he doesn't have the punchline. <laughs>